First in the spotlight tonight is Keith Hutchings, a foreign exchange clerk from Nuneaton. He's answering questions on 60s pop music. Next, Sally Jones, a journalist from Warwick on the poetry of John Betjeman. Ewan Payton is a barrister from Bristol, his specialist subject, the US Masters. And Rod Armitage, a retired linguist from Nottingham, on the Spanish filmmaker Luis Bunuel. And welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys, the quiz show that's rather easier when you're sitting at home than when you're sitting here in the black chair, knowing that you've got just two minutes to prove that you're on top of your specialist subject and a lot of other stuff as well, two and a half minutes on general knowledge. So let's have our first contender, please. And your name is? Keith Hutchings. Your occupation? Foreign exchange clerk. And your chosen subject? Chart music of the 1960s. In two minutes, starting now, which instrumental song by The Shadows knocked Please Don't Tease, their hit with Cliff Richard, off the number one spot in August 1960? Apache. Yes. Who had her first top 40 hit in 1963 when Love of the Loved, originally a Beatles song, reached number 35? Pass. Which musician who rose to fame in a folk pop trio in the early 60s wrote The Seekers' first UK number one single, I'll Never Find Another You? Pass. In 1960, Ella Fitzgerald reached number 19 with a version of a song that had been a chart topper for Bobby Darin the previous year. What was the song? Mac the Knife. Yes. With which song did Roy Orbison achieve his first UK number one single in October 1960? Only the Lonely. Yep. In the summer of 62, over three years after the death of Buddy Holly, the Crickets reached number five in the singles chart with a song by Jerry Goffin and Carol King. What was it called? Don't Have a Chain. Yes. Who wrote the Monkees' 1967 chart topper I'm a Believer before his own single, Crackling Rosie, made it into the UK charts? Neil Diamond. Yes. In 63, which Merseyside band had their first number one single with How Do You Do It, only to be knocked off the top spot after three weeks by the Beatles from Me to You? Jerry and the Pacemakers. Yep. Under what name did Jerry Samuels record his only UK chart entry, the 1966 song They're Coming to Take Me Away? Ha ha. Napoleon the 14th. Yes, Crispian St. Peter's had two top five singles in 66. The first was You Were On My Mind. What was the title of the second? Pied Piper. Yep. Which keyboard player is credited alongside the Beatles on their number one hit, Get Back? Billy Preston. Yes. With which Bob Dylan song did Joan Byers reach number 22 in the UK in September 65? Pass. Which busker and one-man band had two big hits with Rosie and Blue Eyes in 68 and a smaller hit the following year with Breakfast on Pluto? Don Partridge. Yes. What was the last top 20 entry in the singles chart for the supergroup Cream? It reached number 18 in 69 after the band had broken up. Batch. Yep. Which vocal group from Detroit, whose founding members remained together for over 40 years, topped the charts in 66 with Reach Out, I'll Be There? The Four Tops. Is correct. You had three passes. That um, Bob Dylan song and Joan Baez song was It's All Over Now, Baby Blue. Tom Springfield wrote The Seeker's first UK number one single, I'll Never Find Another You. And Scylla Black had her first top 40 hit in 63 when Love of the Loved reached number 35. But, Keith, you have scored 12 points. <laughs> And our next contender, please. And your name is? Sally Jones. Your occupation? Journalist. And your chosen subject? The poetry of John Betjeman. John Betjeman's poems. In two minutes, here we go. Which of Betjeman's poems, published in his 37 collection, Continual Dew, has the second verse that begins, Come bombs and blow to smithereens, those air-conditioned bright canteens? Slough. Yes, what's the title of Betjeman's 1945 collection that includes the poems In a Bath Tea Shop and A Lincolnshire Tale? Um, old Bats in New Belfast. New Bats in Old Belfast. <laughs> what town does he rhyme with Russ in Urbe in the poem The Manor House Hail Near Liverpool? Uh, West Kirby. Yes. What is the name of the tennis-playing partner celebrated in a subaltern's love song? 
Uh, Miss Joan Hunter -Dunn. Indeed. In which poem about the fight to keep a Wiltshire railway station open does Betjeman write, the guard of the last up train puts out the light? Uh, Dilton Marsh Holt. Yes. In his blank verse autobiography, Summoned by Bells, Betjeman writes that the company of one man taught me far more than all my tutors did. Who was he? Uh, Maurice Barra. Yep. What royal events commemorated in Betjeman's poem that ends with the lines, You knelt a boy, you rose a man, and thus your lonelier life began? Uh, the investiture of Prince Charles. Yes. An English couple moved to Spain in a poem made up of two sonnets called She and He that expresses disillusionment with the move. What's the poem called? Uh, Costa... Oh, Costa Dull. That's Sorry. Costa Blanca, Costa Blanca in Potpourri from a Surrey garden. About whom does Betjeman write? I adore you, you great big mountainous sports girl. Pam. Yes. In the third chapter of Summoned by Bells, Betjeman describes his first and purest love, Miss Puri Cust. The chapter is named after the North London district where he went to junior school. Which district? Highgate. Yeah. What is the name of the poem from the light and dark section of the High and Low collection in which Betjeman equates a fit of road rage with a husband's anger at his failing marriage? Um, sorry, could you repeat that? What is the name of the poem from the light and dark section of the High and Low collection in which Betjeman equates a fit of road rage with a husband's anger at his failing marriage? Uh, meditation on the 8.30. Yes, Clemency, the General's daughter, and Mrs Fairclough sipping tea personify youth and age on which river in a Betjeman poem? Bewley. It was indeed the Bewley. No passes, Sally, you have ten points. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Ewan Payton. Your occupation? Barrister. And your chosen subject? The US Masters, 1970 to date. And the Masters in two minutes. Here we go. Who became the youngest winner of the US Masters Golf Tournament at the age of 21 when he finished 12 shots ahead of Tom Kite in 97? Tiger Woods. Yep. Who won the Masters for the second time in 1983? He'd been the first European to win it three years before. Seve Bayesteros. Yes. How many shots did Tom Weiskopf take on the par 3 12th in the first round of the 1980 Masters? 13. Correct. Who was level with Tom Watson and Jose Maria Olazabal on the last hole in 91? He went on to win the championship as he was the only one of the three who managed to par the hole. In Woosnam. Yes. How old was Phil Mickelson when he won the first of his three green jackets at his 12th attempt in 2004? 34. 33. In 1988, who became the first player since 1959 to achieve a hole in one at the par 3 12th hole? Curtis Strange. Yes. Which iconic feature of the landscape on the 17th hole disappeared in 2014 when it was damaged in an ice storm? Eisenhower's tree. Yeah. Ben Crenshaw won his second Masters in 95. He became very emotional after he sunk the winning putt because his coach had died the week before. What was the coach's name? Harvey Pennick. Yes. In 2005, at which hole did Tiger Woods achieve a miraculous birdie when he chipped 25 feet left of the pin and let the slope take the ball into the hole? 16th. Yeah. Following Charles Coody's win in 1971, his caddy tried to hide from the television cameras because he hadn't told his boss the real reason why he had taken time off work. What was the caddy's name? Cricket. Yes, Walter Cricket Pritchard. In 1979, who became the first player since the 1930s to win at Augusta at his first attempt? Fuzzy Zeller. Yep. In what year did Elizabeth Archer become the first female caddy to appear at the Masters when she caddied the bag for her father, George? 1983. Yes. A golfer's tee shot to the par 3 12th appeared to defy gravity when it stayed in the grass on the edge of the green rather than rolling into the water. On the way to his victory in 1992, which golfer? Fred Couples. Correct. At the traditional 1998 Champions Dinner, Tiger Woods chose a menu including cheeseburgers and chicken sandwiches. What did he give the players to drink? Milkshakes. He did indeed. No passes, Ewan. You have 13 points. And our last contender, please. And your name is... Rod Armitage. Your occupation? Retired linguist. And your chosen subject? The life and films of Luis Buñuel. In 
Two minutes, starting now. Bunuel was an atheist, surrealist and politically subversive film director. Which of his films, created in his native Spain under Franco's rule, was condemned in L'Osservatore Romano as sacrilegious and blasphemous? Viridiana. Yes, with which writer did Bunuel collaborate on a number of films, from The Diary of a Chambermaid onwards, including the unrealised project The Monk? Jean-Claude Carrière. Yes, in his memoir, My Last Breath, Manuel says that he and his friends at the Residencia de Estudiantes in Madrid called one of their fellow students the Czechoslovakian painter. Who was he? Dali. Yes, in The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, the character played by Fernando Rey, Don Rafael Acosta, is the ambassador of which fictional country? Miranda. Yes, what unexpected item is in both the two grand pianos that Pierre Batchev's character drags across the room in Un Chien Andalou, a short film written in collaboration with Dali? Two priests. No, a dead mule, a rotting mule. Benuel met his future wife, Jean Rucard, a gymnastics teacher at a studio that Joaquin Peñado shared with another artist. Who was the other artist? André Breton? No, Hernando Villez. In which of Bunuel's films does a character from the Marquis de Sade's 120 Days of Sodom have the appearance of Jesus Christ? Large Door. Yes, of the Golden Age. In my last breath, Bunuel writes of his shock at the death of a friend whom he describes as the finest of all human beings and his own masterpiece. Who was he? Lorca. Yeah. Dan O'Hurley earned an Oscar nomination for playing the title character in which of Bunuel's film? The Adventures of Robinson Crusoe. Correct. In Belle de Jour, Madame Manet's apartment is on which fictional Paris street? Pass. The role of Conchita in that obscure object of desire is played by Angela Molina and which other actress? Carol Bouchard. Carol Bouquet. Okay. At the end of Nazarene, what item of food does a peasant woman offer the central character that he first refuses but then accepts? Bread? Pineapple. What was the adopted first name of Paul Eluard's wife, whom Benwell allegedly tried to strangle because of her influence on Salvador Dali? She later married Dali. Gala. Is correct. You had um, one pass in Belgium. Madame Anne's apartment was on Jean de Saumur. Just that one pass, Rod, you have eight points. Closed contest so far. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, eight points, Rod Armitage. Third place, ten points, Sally Jones. Second place, 12 points, Keith Hutchings. First place, 13 points, Ewan Payton. <laughs> so the general knowledge round now, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there will be a tie break. And the six higher scoring runners-up in these heats will also be able to claim a place in the semi-finals. So lots to play for. Let's get on with it and ask Rod to join us again, please. And uh, you start out with eight points. Plenty of time to catch up because you get two and a half minutes for your general knowledge. So here we go. What common pasta sauce that normally uses minced beef is a version of the traditional ragu of Italy? Bolognese. Yes, who created the 20 metre high steel figure near Gateshead known as the Angel of the North? Anthony Gormley. Yep, for which radio comedy show first broadcast in January 1952 were musical interludes provided by the Dutch born harmonica player Max Geldray and the Ray Ellington Quartet? The Goon Show. Yes, in 1776, the Marquis de Launay succeeded his father to become the last governor of a notorious French institution. Which one? Devil's Island. The Bastille. What is the nickname of Beethoven's Piano Trio Opus 97 in B-flat major because of the title held by his patron and pupil Rudolf of Austria to whom it's dedicated? Pass. In which country has the Buda cricket ground been replaced by a national stadium as the only venue on the South American mainland to host test cricket? Guyana? Yes. Which biblical heroine, whose name is given to a book in the Bible, refuses to desert her mother-in-law, Naomi, saying to her, Whither thou goest, I will go. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. Ruth? Yes. What is the meaning of the Welsh word cum, as in the title of the unofficial Welsh anthem, cum ronda? Mountain? Valley. Which oh. Roman poet's earliest known work is a collection of ten pastoral poems entitled The Eclogues, composed between 42 and 37 B.C.? Virgil? Yes. Andy Warhol famously mass-produced more than 20 silk-screen portraits of a Hollywood actress in the 1960s. Who was she? 
Marilyn Monroe. Yes, in pre-decimal coinage, what three letters were used as the abbreviation for pounds, shillings and pence? LSD. Yep. In which Shropshire market town did Dr William Penny Brooks institute an Olympian Games in 1850 that became the inspiration for the modern Olympic movement? Shrewsbury. Much Wenlock. What is the name of the Russian writer whose works include One Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich and the Gulag Archipelago? Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Yes, at an altitude of 4,165 metres, Mount Tubkal in Morocco is the highest peak in which range of mountains? The Atlas. Yes. What name is given to the fruit of forest trees such as oak and beech, especially as food for pigs and other animals? Acorns. Yes, or mast. Which plant of the dock family whose stalks are edible is also known as the pie plant in America? Dandelion. Rhubarb. The five novel sequence Children of Violence, which centres on Martha Quest, who grows up in southern Africa and moves to England, was written by a Nobel Prize winning novelist. What's her name? Nadine Gordimer. No, Doris Lessing. Who directed the films Carlito's Way, Scarface and The Black Dahlia? Pick a name. Kubrick. No, it was uh, Brian De Palma. Ah. Uh, Rod, you had one pass. The nickname of that uh, Beethoven piano trio is the Archduke. You have now a total of 19 points. <laughs> and now Sally again, please. And you start out with 10 points. 19 is now the score to beat. Here we go, two and a half minutes. The ancient city of Jodhpur gives its name to a type of riding trousers. In which country is Jodhpur? India. Yep. Which novel by Aldous Huxley takes its title from a line in Shakespeare's The Tempest? Antic Hay. Brave New World. Which Christian doctrine is celebrated on the first Sunday following Pentecost in the Western Christian churches? Um, Whitson. No, Holy Trinity. What name is given in Britain to the young of herrings and sprats that are fried and eaten whole? White bait. Yes. Hamid Karzai was elected president of which country for a five-year term in October 2004? Afghanistan. Yes. A town in northeast England takes its name from its position as the eastern terminus of a Roman fortification constructed in the second century AD. What's the town called? York. Wall's End. Which footballer left his native Argentina to join Barcelona in 1982 before moving to Napoli in 1984 for a reported fee of £6.9 million, a world record at the time? Uh, pass. What name that comes from the Latin for chalk is given to the period of geological time that followed the Jurassic and was the final period of the Mesozoic era? Cretaceous. Yes, Thanks for the Memory was the theme song of an English-born film comedian. Who was he? Pass. Which birds native to eastern North America were slaughtered in their millions during the mid-19th century? They became extinct when the last one died in Cincinnati Zoo in 1914. Dodo? The Passenger Pigeon, the oldest university in Germany founded in the 14th century, is in a city on the River Necker. Which city? Um, Wurttemberg. Heidelberg. The Seattle record label Sub Pop, whose artists include Soundgarden and Nirvana, is particularly associated with the emergence of a musical genre in the late 80s and early 90s. What is the genre called? Punk. Grunge. What name is used for a double pleat in which the cloth is folded under in both directions, usually in women's dresses or skirts? Uh, kick pleat. Box pleat. Which opera by Borodin tells of a Russian ruler who fights the Polotsians? It was completed after his death by Rimsky-Korsakov and Glazunov. Pass. In July 2004, which newsreader became the first winner of Strictly Come Dancing with her partner Brendan Cole? Um, Natasha Kaplinsky. Yes. <laughs> which building in the St James's Palace complex was the venue for talks in 1979 that led to the independence of Zimbabwe? Pass. What term that comes from the Greek prefix meaning life and the word electronics is used for the replacement of body parts by electronic or mechanical devices? Bio... <laughs> no. I can't help you, I'm afraid. It's, you're halfway there, bionics. Bionics. Yeah, <laughs> you were nearly there. Right, you uh, have five passes altogether. Lancaster House is that building in London where they had the Zimbabwe talks. Prince Eagle was the uh, opera by Borodin. Bob Hope used to say thanks for the memory. And the uh, very rich footballer, Diego Maradona, hand yes. of God and all that stuff. Cool. Sally, five passes, you have 15 points.
And now, Keith, again, please. And you start out with uh, 12 points, and 19 is still the score to beat. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Here we go. Hunting for truffles is traditionally carried out using a specially trained dog or which other animal? Pig. Yep. What name that refers to their geographical location is given to the largely Gallic-speaking archipelago that incorporates the Outer Hebrides and the remote islands of Rockall and St Kilda? Pass. Which novel by C.S. Lewis takes the form of a series of letters between a senior devil and his novice nephew, Wormwood, advising him on methods of dealing with human beings? Pass. The Drake Passage separates Antarctica from which other continent? South America. Yes. Which science fiction author wrote the story The Sentinel that formed the basis of the film 2001 A Space Odyssey? Bradbury. Arthur C. Clarke. Which saint landed with his entourage on the Isle of Thanet in the spring of 597 AD and based his mission in Canterbury, where he subsequently founded a monastery? Augustine. Yes. Birds described as palmipeds, such as waterfowl, all share what specific feature? Web feet. Yes. Which country's premier tennis tournament, now known as the Rogers Cup, is the third oldest after Wimbledon and the US Open? Australian. Canada. How many pairs of chromosomes are there in a normal human cell? 23. Yes. In Greek mythology, the weaver Arachne hanged herself after the goddess Athena tore her tapestry to pieces. What creature did Athena turn her into out of pity? Spider. Yes. Which Disney fairy tale film won the Oscar in 2014 for best animated feature film? Pass. Which television policeman is usually assisted in his crime investigations by Detective Sergeant John Backus, played by Lee Ingleby? Taggart. No, Gently, George Gently. Neville Chamberlain, Clement Attlee and Tony Benn were among the holders of a government post that was abolished in 1969. What was it? Postmaster General. Yes. Under what name did the British musician Mike Skinner release the album's original pirate material and A Grand Don't Come For Free? Mike Oldfield. The streets. In the UK, what is the traditional roast meat for Easter Day? Lamb. Yep. A legendary American hero spent many years as a Tennessee politician and later congressman before he was killed at the Battle of the Alamo in 1836. What was his name? Davy Crockett. Yes. Goa was a part of a European country's colonial empire before it was annexed by Indian troops in 1961. Which European country? Portugal. Yes. What word for an upwardly mobile young person first entered the Oxford English Dictionary in the mid-80s and was originally formed from an acronym of Young Urban Professional? Yuppie. Is correct. Three passes. That um, Disney fairy tale that won the Oscar for Best Animated Feature Film was Frozen. The um, C.S. Lewis book, The Letters Between the Senior Devil and His Novice Nephew with the Screw Tape Letters. And it's the Western Isles, that's the name that refers to their mm -hmm. geographical location. But Keith, you now have a total of 23 points. <laughs> and finally, Ewan again, please. And uh, you start out with uh, 13 points, but the score to beat now has gone up to 23. So, let's see if you can do that with your two and a half minutes of general knowledge. What is the English name for the stretch of water known to the French as La Manche, meaning the sleeve? The English Channel. Yes, an ass belonging to Balaam and the serpent in the Garden of Eden are the only non-human animals in the Old Testament to do what? Speak. Yes. What is the common name for the plant that's also known as the Russian thistle? It grows in arid and windy regions and has a specially developed method of distributing its seeds. Tumbleweed. Yes. The International Appreciation Society for a famous comedy duo is called Sons of the Desert, from the title of one of their early films. Who were they? Laurel and Hardy. Yeah. Which notorious post did the Spanish monk Torquemada become the first holder of in 15th century Spain? Grand Inquisitor. Yeah. Deuterium oxide, or D2O, is widely used as a moderator of neutrons in the nuclear industry. By what name is it more commonly known? Heavy Water. Yes. Which character in The Archers was first played by Harry Oakes and last played by Frank Middlemass? The character died of a heart attack in 1986. Nelson Grundy. No, Dan Archer. What is the name of the comedian and one-time folk singer who had an unlikely chart hit in 1975 with the song Funky Moped? Jasper Carrots. Yes. Which domestic animal does the prefix eluro refer to as in the word elurophile? 
Hamster. Cat. Which North African country was granted independence from France as a result of the 1962 Evian agreements? Algeria. Yes. Who is unwell, according to the title of the 1989 play by Keith Waterhouse about a real-life spectator journalist? Geoffrey Bernard. Yes. Which capital city lies near the equator on the lower slopes of the volcano Pichincha? Quito. Yes. Who became heir to the throne when the only child from her numerous pregnancies to survive infancy, the 11-year-old William, Duke of Gloucester, died in 1700? Sophie of Hanover. Now, Queen Anne. Which oh. French composer's piano suite Children's Corner, first published in 1908 and dedicated to his daughter, includes The Snow is Dancing and Jimbo's Lullaby? Vaughan Williams. Debussy. In the final scene of a 91 film, Gina Davis and Susan Sarandon drive their car into the Grand Canyon. Which film? Thelma and Louise. Yes. Who released the chart-topping album Goodbye Yellow Brick Road in the 1970s? Elton John. Yes. Which plant family does the wildflower Lady Slipper, also called Moccasin Flower, belong to? Geranium. Orchid. The FTSE Straits Times Index tracks the performance of the top 30 companies listed on the stock exchange in which Asian country? Tokyo. No, Singapore. Cooked dishes, start to start, finish, named after the 19th century Russian diplomat Count Nesselrod, contain a puree of a sweet nut. Which one? Chestnuts. Chestnuts is correct. And you had no passes, and you have, Ewan, 26 points. Well, he did it at the end. Let's have a look at all of those scores. In fourth place with 15 points, Sally Jones. Third place, 19 points, Rod Armitage. Second place, 23 points, Keith Hutchings. In first place with 26 points, Ewan Payton. <laughs> Which means, of course, that Ewan is a nice winner and he goes through to the semi-finals congratulations to him if you would like to be a contender on the next series then do go to our website bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind and you can follow us on twitter at mastermind quiz and do join us again next time for more masterminds thanks for watching goodbye